Hi all and thanks for joining me, Damo and Otis today on this vlog. In our effort to show you land and properties from all around Thailand, we found out that one of our neighbours is in a little bit of financial difficulty and they've decided to sell their little piece of land with two houses built on it and we're going to show it to you today. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to see more content like this in the future and let's go and take a look. So I've talked a lot about finding some budget property in the area, some real cheap housing and that's what we're looking at today some really cheap place i was uh, criticized a little bit before for showing expensive land uh, overpriced land so let's take a look at some cheap land and this area that we're in today is lahan sai we're about five minutes in the hospital and we're in a little rural village with the little kids playing in the street here and what the place we're looking at today is here with this wall concrete wall around it so here is uh, the village that actually in the town, land side town, but it's uh, a bit far away from the, 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 the center. And then, uh, yeah, we get lost just now. And then uh, now we found a place. It looks like uh, two houses in here that say that are uh, going to sell. And then this plot of land. So, so this house they are going to sell two house that we see in here, and then it's about uh, nearly one right. I don't know. So just under one right. Under one right, yeah. But uh, in in the area like uh, two house in here. So she she say that uh, she she want to sell this land for paying the debt that she have. So that why she want to sell cheap and you know flat flat sale like that, yeah. So she said if she didn't have the debt, she wouldn't actually be selling this little piece of land. So it's, it's around a rye, just under a rye, with two buildings on it. Nearly banged my head on that there. So let's take a look inside. Windows here, no mosquito nets on the outside. It's basically a shell of a building, but using your imagination, you could probably do something with this. And probably need a new roof insulation very hot in here you have space for the bed definitely have to use your imagination with a room in the middle here so it's basically a very shell building and then we got another room here walking through a little arch door and I think this is where the bathroom would be so you have toilet here uh, where they traditionally hold the water in this area here so I can't see any light I wish I could give you a better a better view of this one but this I guess would be a kitchen area another little like storage area perhaps for the washing machine something like that just hoping my camera can get enough light in here I think it is so yeah you got the bathroom kitchen this is something that I would see as like a you know very basic shell you could have the roof insulated and then retiled that's probably what I would do probably have it all ripped off put steel beams have it insulated tiled and then all the walls painted windows put in get the wind the glass people to come and fit the windows in here sofa widescreen TV bed a lot could be done here if you just use your imagination. Can the rain come, come in here? Look, up there. Oh, you think the rain can come in? Yeah. Actually, I think he's right. There's some holes in the roof, as you can see the sun coming through. And then the rain would come in, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, that'd get wet, wouldn't it? You'd be watching TV, watching two, and then it starts raining and goes drip, 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 drip on your head, wouldn't it? Look, Amy, go to on the yeah, there's an, some more holes in the roof just over here oh, that would go all over the sofa, that's for sure. Around the side of this building, you have a small garden area with long grass, so I better watch out for any snakes hanging about back here because, no joke, this is where they hang out in, uh, in long grass. And then you can see around the back here, there's the 
the wall, there's some space back here. I would say a construction like this is probably 300 to 400,000 in itself. I'll take you around the neighborhood in a minute to show you what the neighborhood's like. It's got a solid gate on the front, solid steel gate. Now, bear in mind this has got two buildings on. One of these could be partitioned off and rented out and have a separate entrance once it's done up. And then the other one could be used to live. You've got a, a little garden here at the front, some banana trees, and the whole thing is walled in. So let's take a look at the other house now, which I think seems a little bit more modern. So this one was built only two to three years ago. This is very big, this goes back quite far. So, and the TV says Tiss. So here you've got one small bedroom. So, and the windows are in. So you're already halfway there with this one. Then you've got the main living room. Very kind of Thai style building with space for sofa, TV, the tiles are done quite nice, windows are in. Then you have a second room here, so I guess that would be a second bedroom or an office, whatever you wanted to use it for. And then coming down here, you have a third bedroom, which is like an L shape. So three bedrooms, it's a very big space. This one an L shape. And then here you have a very bright and light kitchen. So a very bright and light kitchen area with worktop and a counter over there and then a toilet in the back here. Big toilet and shower and there'd be room for a bath in here as well actually. So very high ceilings too. And the kitchen is very nice and bright. There's a door out the back here as well to a small patio area and little garden. I'll just show you around the back of the house, see what space is bet between the wall here. So you've got the another small garden here. There's definitely lots of space and lots of buildings already on it. And then through here, you have another bonus room which is currently being used as a kitchen for our cooking and fridge. But this is another big space tiled with the roof done. So it's a second entrance through here. So you've got two entrances, one to the main building and then one to this little side building which is being used as a kitchen. They've spent quite a lot of money on this, you can tell, and they've raised it up from the flooding. Any, any tuam, mai? Mai tuam. She said there's no flooding here, no flooding come in. So, a lot of money's been spent here, I think. Let's ask Dama what she thinks of the actual house. Big house, you know, big room, two big room, two big uh, bathroom, and then, uh, kitchen on the side is also very big like a big space here i think there's been a lot of money to build this this house and also you have extra another you know, the old house and also the land you know and but my main worry is about uh, flooding because i can see on the side of the wall like uh, have some like brow it's like been flood before you know that, that what i uh, worry about and but she said that no flooding here, around here if we bought this what would you do with it <laughs> renovate the house i think yeah gotta renovate the house and make the garden in the middle yeah she said that if you want to be another house you can build here you can you can build here and then you will get another house here so three house in this one land you know but for maybe like for many people, I think they want to have space to do the garden and, uh, you know, vegetable. If you were to renovate that house and build a wall and then rent it out, how much do you think you could rent it for per month? I'm not sure around here because it's local, you know. I don't, I don't think that people are going to expect to, you know, pay a lot of money, you know. 3,000? 2,000, 5,000 baht or something. 5,000? <laughs> Yeah, 5,000, 5,000 baht a month or something like that. For the price of two house and uh, 
under one ride is about 900k. She said that uh, first time she put 950, and then uh, if uh, she want a flat sale, you know, like uh, pay just 900,000 uh, 900, baht. And then you can move in. So this place don't have to know. And then uh, it called Toboha. It called Toboha. It's in her name. And then if Thai people want to buy this, you know, uh, uh, Farang cannot own the land in Thailand. If Thai people want to buy this, uh, she will transfer into your name. And then you can just go to land of it and then uh, register in your name for this area, for this area in the house. Can be convert to Chanel? No, cannot. Cannot be converted to Chanot. She say in this area only Botoha that don't have Chanot in this area. But people still live in. Uh, since uh, this area from here to the hospital in in town, they don't have they don't have Chanot around here. So uh, they they can live you know like uh, they can live do farming stuff like that. But they are not own Chanot. I think the problem is about the leader. Before a long time ago, they don't do anything for the villager, you know. So that is the problem. Yeah. If if the leader of the house, they do they try to fight because to have connecting with uh to do something with the land of it is very difficult before, and uh maybe they like that thing is so difficult to to do some document stuff or something like that. So they don't do it, and then now it's come to the new generation, generation, and then uh, they can own like Chinook, only for Toboha. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so finally, a little bit of budget uh, land, a little bit of budget with a couple of buildings on it too. I think if you were just getting the land itself, you'd be looking at around 600,000. But here with the two buildings on it, 900,000, I think it's quite reasonable. It's a little bit of a distance from us in that if we were to get something, I'd want it to be closer, could be utilised for the boys, could keep an eye on it, you know what I mean, actually be there. So actually, in terms of distance from us, it's not it's not for us, uh, this, but I'm sure somebody out there would probably suit their purposes rather well. You're in the middle of a village here, as you can see, it's a small little village area. And I think it's fenced off nicely, so you've got the privacy. And these buildings only require a little bit of renovation. I think Damo's point about the flooding is a key one as well. Uh, could definitely be an issue with the flooding. Uh, but I think neighbours are very nice, quiet, uh, peaceful place to be. And obviously you would have to have Thai Wai for some kind of company set up in order to um, get a property like this. Most expats I know are retiring with a Thai wife, so it's not really uh, an issue. You can remember you can tie that up with superficies agreement as well. The superficies agreement allows for Farang to have control of, of a building on land. So do look into that if it's something you're thinking about doing. And I think this has been an interesting little property to view and give us an idea about what people are selling for locally. This is definitely a Thai price, it's not a Farang price. And I think overall it's very reasonably priced, very cheap, uh, because of the debt that she has. That's why she's she's selling it, you know, she's quite honest, she said I've got a debt, I need to clear the debt quickly and that's why I'm selling it. So she say like uh, the house around here is uh, uh, Mia Farang, <laughs> I mean Thai people that who have a uh, Western uh, husband. They build a house, that house, and that house is uh, it's like a Western partner or so. She so, said so that this... So a community of Farang. Yeah, she said that uh, around here, uh, many Western come and then build a house for, for Thai wife. Yes. So apparently this is a Farang Thai couple that live here. On this one, you see the village area is very quiet. This is very quiet birds chirping. The downside to this one is that there's no no land for farming. You've got a little garden in the middle which would do fine for a, a vegetable patch and whatnot. And you are getting bang for your buck there. You're not going to get cheaper than that. A million baht for, for two houses already built. She's probably spent about 800,000 just on building that house there. So, And then down here, it's just the village area. Again, this is close to the center of Lahan Sai, which is an area that's being built up and up and up. And actually in the center, one rye of land in the center of Lahan Sai is selling for 5 million baht, five times the price of this. And that's with no houses on, no construction. So eventually this, 
the prices of this will go up as well. So, well, the price of land in Thailand is going to go up. So you just see it's a small little village. There's a little corner bay where the local villagers hang out. Maybe drink a bit of Lao Kao. Kids playing. And then these are the neighbours. Thai. But she said all the other neighbours are Farang with their wives. So just a small little village. Someone's got a little vegetable garden going on over this side. And this is the back of the house here, sir. Actually a very nicely constructed house, decent tiles, decent, decent build. Just needs some aesthetic work doing, three bedrooms. There's all the dogs taking a ride. For this area, that's probably the best you're going to get. Now, unless you just wanted to buy the land with nothing on it and build a house from scratch. Uh, but you'd end up spending more for sure. For sure. She, she just wants a fast sale, I think, so. And a rental development opportunity. Little house opportunity. What's your final thoughts? Worth to buy, but uh, worry about about flooding or about Chanute. There's only two things, but everything is like a, that house is worth more than 700k. Mm. <laughs> I can tell you. It's like you buy the house, you get free land, and you get uh, another half for free. Yeah. You know, If you're looking to stay around here, then I think it were to buy, really. <laughs> but we're not selling it. We don't get nothing, do we? We, we don't take any no, commission. No, no. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, these guys are taking commission. We, we don't get anything for it, do we? Yeah, we don't we not get anything, but we just like interested to see like uh, uh, the house around the rural local area that, um, you know, what the price is, and then, you know, it's good place to, because, here in town, you have like many nice cafe, you know. If this was next to our house, would you buy it? Yes, of course. It's cheap, really cheap, you yeah. know. So I, I tell her like, uh, you sell so cheap, and then people like, uh, they wonder why it's so cheap like this. So we come to check it. So thanks for joining us on this vlog today, guys. Hope you find it interesting. Thanks for liking and hitting the subscribe button. And we'll see you very soon with some more options. Try to make it all